They do. They are here for YouTube to put it in YouTube. That's what they do. You get the point. That's their job. To put Remember, it in YouTube to make money. He's lying, so isn't he? You have to realize. Is he? Is he not lying? Business. Is he not lying? That's what they do. YouTube Was I recording you earlier on? Did I stop you recording? Get the point now. So I stopped 90%, recording. 90 of them, that's no, what no. Do. Why did I stop recording? Because I don't want to be recorded. Because you didn't want to be recorded, I stopped recording. But the moment your own people started recording, I didn't want them to distort what we're discussing and fabricate again. That's why I'm recording it. So we have more than one footage. On YouTube, Thank you. On their YouTube channel. Doesn't matter. They don't do any editing. Look, look. That, but ask him, what does we do? He will say, we edit it. That's why I say, more footage you have, the better. But anyway. Say what you have to say in response to what I just said. But, so, so you see Matthew, right? Yeah. Personally, he, he saw you are also face to face. I know you are also face to face and he fully believed in you. Now that Mohammed, what did he do? Uh, I can't remember exactly where this is um, written in the Quran. But um, Muhammad said that if you ever bore false witness, then um, then Allah or Gabriel would then strike him in um, one of his arteries and then he would have a heart attack. Now then towards the end of the Quran, how does he die? He dies by a heart attack. So therefore that means that even by the standards of Allah, he has bared false witness of what um, Allah was trying to teach him. And that's why okay. he died. What's your name? Adam. Adam. But you see Matthew, he never... Adam. He was never killed. Adam. Because Matthew was... I understood, I understood what you were saying. But you didn't understand what I was saying, did you? No, I what, what, what did I... What, what point did I make? Okay, let's... let's, let's, let's no, 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 no. What is the point that I made? I said, let me repeat myself. I said, if you, Adam, were to establish and validate that Matthew gives you incorrect information, false information, twisting history, fabricating history, inventing prophecies, yeah, making mistakes and errors. If Adam yourself, if you were to establish that from Matthew, would you consider Matthew to be reliable anymore? Would you even accept him and believe in him? You, if you are a person of critical thinking, Okay, okay, let Would me, you not let be? Me, let me respond. Oh, you're going to respond? Okay, yes. Is that what in, I said, right? Law, no, in the law, it says, in the law of Moses, it says, on account of two or more witnesses, surely a matter shall be established. So therefore, Matthew bore witness, and then Luke bore witness, and John bore witness, and then Mark bore witness, and then Peter bore witness. And then everyone that met your Usha bore witness to the same thing. Even if there's like some er errors in like family records, like only oh, yeah, the family records of certain people. That's no importance. But what's important is the message. Well, like, okay, this person gave birth to this person, and then there was some. Because you know um, the Ecclesia, the assembly, they rushed the apostles. This is recorded. They rushed them. So they had to quickly compile genealogy. Didn't, they didn't have enough time to do a research, like exactly like who they were to do. So they had to do it like from memory quickly. And then they had to give it um, to, the, to the Ecclesia, to the um, assembly, to the congregation. You see. But if they weren't rushed, you wouldn't see this error. You wouldn't see it at all. Adam, I heard what you said. I'll let me deal with one point by point. Listen to me now. Matthew is not in a rush to write genealogies. I wasn't only talking about genealogies. So hear me out properly. Okay, where, where are uh, hear, hear me out properly. Else? Hear me out properly. I said he invents prophecies. I'm yeah. not talking about genealogies. Listen, did you hear what I said? Yes. So, if you know there's a doctor who makes mistakes in surgery, are you listening? Imagine a surgeon. You know that when he operates, he cuts your other lungs and he cuts your blood supplies and he will kill people. Wait, wait, listen. If you know a surgeon is like that, would you trust him to have surgery of your own heart? Well, what's this good to do with the scriptures? Because I want you to be critically thinking. Then I will tell, tell you what's the significance. I will tell you what the significance is. If you want a heart operation done to you, I can see something that you've done here, right? Fine, doesn't matter. Listen, listen, Adam. Adam. Person of critical thinking, listen. No. Just his if time. you, you are a person of critical thinking, Adam, listen. Yes, and that's why. So, if you want to go for a heart operation to, on a, with a surgeon, who you know, who you know that he makes mistakes, he's instead of cutting your heart and putting it back together, he's going to cut it into pieces. He's going to damage it altogether, and he's going to perhaps kill you. If he knew that, that this person, this surgeon makes a mistake because he never been to a medical school all his certificates were false and fabricated right okay. listen the listen the difference is we're going to listen 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 would you trust this surgeon 
Would you trust this surgeon to perform operation of your own heart? So not do assume that he's a surgeon, right? No, can I? Can you answer that first? Would you trust this surgeon? This isn't a yes or no question because I have to answer. Okay, explain. Okay, so let's say that Matthew is at the surgeon, right? Talk about, forget about Matthew at first. Please don't talk about the surgeon. Stop saying forget. Talk about the surgeon first. Listen, listen. Yes. Listen. I told you before. Why is he interrupting you? Listen. Are you a kid? Man, that you need to be don't told? Be silly, don't be silly. So don't tell him that I can tactics. talk for my no, own self. No, don't, don't worry. Listen, when he, Go ahead. you're the one interrupting him. If you Go want ahead. to speak, don't tell him what to speak. You're the one, you want to so bully him. engage with what I said. Listen, Go ahead. You, you will not tell him to speak. I'm not talking you. to you. Go then ahead. Go away. I'm listening. If you, if you want to bully that way, then we carry can on. end this discussion. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Can carry bully on. him to say what you want him to say. Carry on. Adam, carry on. You say that, that oh, he, he's like a surgeon, right? And he's made mistakes. At least Matthew has gone to school. It is written that Mohammed never, could never read or write. So even Matthew, even with your own thinking, is still more qualified than Mohammed. What is my question that you're addressing? Am I talking about Prophet Muhammad? That's what he answered you. No, Adam, can Muhammad, can, can Muhammad read Adam, or write? Adam, have I, have, I made, have I made any claim, an argument for Prophet Muhammad? That's how he wants to have answer I, you. Have I made any claim or argument? He used that one to okay, answer but, you. But you are Muslim, one right? second, one second. Of course it's a Muslim. I can critique this book even if I was a Zoroastrian. Is that possible? Even a Zoroastrian can critique this book. It doesn't have to be a Muslim critiquing it. Yes. So we are now doing a critique of this book. So my Islam and my Muslimness is not going to help your argument. You. Because we are making you know, an argument on this book. Not okay, on Islam, okay, on, on the Quran. So yeah. now, Adam, I said, if you saw a surgeon who made, okay, listen, just listen, listen, not second answer. I want one reasonable answer. Yeah, 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 no, so no, wait, I'll wait. Give you two. I'll, I'll hang on, I'll give you two. hang on, hang on, hang on, reason. Would you trust that surgeon for your heart operation? Okay, so let's say, right, that the surgeon has made that like, one error. No, but then, many errors. No, he hasn't made the many I errors. said many errors. That's my yeah. example. Uh, he many he errors. Made, yeah, he said he made errors. In so my example, this you. surgeon is known to make many errors. That's you, but, that's but for him. Not right. hypothetical. No, that's for Not, you. Listen, have you ever been to have an operation? Yes. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. So if you know a surgeon never passed medical school, it's all fake. No, no, Matthew did. Uh, it's not fake, I'm not man. talking about Matthew. What, what, so what's wrong with you? Listen. Because you, you are referring know, to me, that's what you are referring to. Why is he interrupting you? Don't allow him to, to make the way Adam, that, Adam, that, that, that tell him you're not a kid. Man, then shut your mouth. No. Listen. <laughs> look look at how rude he is. Listen, don't let him to trap you because if you are not careful, he's going to trap you to say evil thing about the word of your word. And it's going to be against you. So don't fall for that trap. They're going to make you to sin. Please answer Mind the you, question. What you, what you read here is the word of your word. You get the point? This is the word of your word. You get the point? Because they're gonna make Adam, you, you make mistakes. Let's continue by, 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 by to you, oh, The reason I'm giving the example trap, yeah? of a surgeon is to establish a principle. They this believe in Muhammad that why is he not read or write? Why is he interrupting? Can Muhammad read or write? No. Why is he so Muhammad uncivilized and interrupting? Were you in the cave? The sign of an uncivilized individual is interrupting like that. Were you in the cave with you Muhammad? Understand? You was not in the cave with Muhammad. No, I can right. See, I can so, see were you in the cave with Muhammad? So, no, so now, in Muhammad. the discussion we're having is this. That cannot read or write. The discussion we're having is this. That cannot read or write? To establish... Yeah? To establish... All they want to do is to pressure you. They don't want to talk about Muhammad that cannot read or write. He were you in the cave? He doesn't think you have a mind were or you a brain. In the cave when no, Muhammad is he thinks you have a low IQ. You see? Tell him, I can talk on my own self. That's what they do. To make you to check Why doesn't he allow you to, to make have you, a conversation? What the devil do? The devil bring division. That's what he does. He does. So oh, so he's trying to control you. So he so, is controlling you. So, can you, you know? tell him that we are having a conversation? Man, shut your mouth. What you're saying doesn't make sense. Okay. People are listening to your very, you know, heartwarming preaching. By yeah, okay, telling no, people no, off, no, like no, shut no, your no, mouth. No, anyway, Adam. No, no, I didn't. Talk the no, reason, no. the reason. Now I want a response. The reason I talked about yeah. surgeon is to establish a principle. Okay, I, I agree with the principle. Yeah. No, no, no. Would you trust that surgeon who makes many mistakes in operation? No. You wouldn't. Yes. Why not? At first, I don't feel like he's trustworthy. Fine. So, so, so now we understand something that if an individual is established yes. to be lying inventing fabricating twisting distorting information 
any information that person gives, we should be trusting him or not trusting him for anything else. Okay, but who are you talking about right now? Anyone. Anyone. Okay, no. Like, no, good. So if now Matthew, who provides information, is, listen, 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 Adam. If Matthew provides information which are false, incorrect, twisted history, fabricate history, invents prophecies, yeah? If he lies about inf information, and you can verify that, remember what I said, and you can verify that, would you trust him for any other information? Okay, so basically, this entire time that was referring to Matthew, like, oh, you don't understand, you don't understand. Now, you talk about to Matthew. I didn't okay. say you understand anything. No. Now I'm so going to Matthew. No, you know Is it a point now? Go ahead. Just, Would you trust Matthew? No, just I think that's you, you're, you're always on the topic of Matthew. But then when I spoke about Matthew, you don't want to listen. Now you return back to Matthew. No. So do you agree? You do you agree, Adam? Do, do you agree then? If Matthew is known to make mistakes, he made would you no mistakes? I mean, okay, maybe he made one. But that's what it. did I what did I say? If he makes many mistakes, and no, you can, if, if, listen, no, Adam, sure. listen to me carefully again. If you can establish that he has done so. I can't establish. I can only look, 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 look. To establish someone made a mistake or not, is an easy thing to do. Like I gave you one example, right? How many examples have I given you? One. If I give you five examples of mistakes and errors and twisting it, and you know that that's the case by going home and researching, and you establish that to yourself, would you still trust Matthew? Okay, let's assume that Matthew made like four mistakes, right? Hmm? Let's assume that Matthew made like four mistakes. Yeah, would you still we, trust him? If we then have Mark... No, would you trust Matthew? I'm not talking about Mark. Yes. How would you, you trust know? Matthew? How do you, how do you know? How do you know? Listen. Would you trust you Matthew? Know? Yeah. Remember when the Europeans took the Hebrew scriptures, yeah? Yes. Remember Vatican took the scriptures? Yes. And the Greek took the scriptures? Yes. They changed what they want to change, yeah? How do you know it is Matthew that did it? Are they not the ones that change the name of Matthew? Yes. So how are you going to say that it's Matthew? Yes. Don't fall for their rubbish. Yeah. Adam. Well, listen, what did they do? The Europeans... So you're, you're not having listen, a conversation listen. with me. You've been, Europeans... you've been fed Pardon? what to believe. Listen now. Not a critical engagement, listen, listen. is it? Hey, listen, don't listen. No, I'm having a critical hey, discussion back and forth. Who, I'm asking you to the one? think. Who are the one? If Matthew made a mistake, no, many Matthew mistakes. Make if, any he mistake. did. if he did. Ma Matthew, ma ma Let me establish that for you. That was with Yahusha didn't make Shall I establish that now to you? Adam, the, the Europeans, let me establish this for listen, you now. The Europeans, okay? what did they do? They are the ones that took the Bible, changed his name to Matthew. Yes. Did the Matthew change his name to Matthew? No. All the names you see in the King James Bible, are they the true name of the Savior? Are they the true name of the disciples? No. Yes. So now, when they call him Matthew, how are you going to say that it's Matthew? His name is not Matthew. Oh, yeah, I know. His name is Matatiahu. Yeah, I know. The other one is Yahoo Canon. So the people that change what they change are the Vatican, the Europeans. The same time, they went and took Hebrew scripture and changed the name of the Messiah, Yahusha, and changed it to Jesus. You see the point? The same people that changed the name of the Messiah, they're the ones that went. Enough they of released, information. Now they, let's have a dis they discussion. Remove, they remove all the true name of the... So now, they remove the remember name what of the I said? Are you listening? And the name of the I, I the asked you. Scripture. I will establish now. So, now I'm, Matthew didn't make any mistake. I am going yeah, to establish no. you. So don't look. allow him to come up with that. Look, look, rubbish. hold on, please, hold on. Please, please, no, no, look, no, no, I don't want you to have to touch the scripture, please. No, listen. Hold, hold on. Okay. Come here, I will establish. Yeah. I will establish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see. establish the errors of Matthew Jesus first, right? Rubbish. Once we establish, yeah. and you know for sure Jesus these are his errors. Jesus is rubbish. Rubbish. Jesus is shish kebab. Once we establish. Jesus is the son of the devil. Remember, Yahusha created Muhammad. Without Yahusha, Muhammad um, would not exist. Do you think, yeah? do you think Whether you religion, believe it or not, God is a Yahusha joke? Yahusha existed before Muhammad. No. So do you if think Muhammad so? is true, so have a serious Muhammad discussion. should preach Yahusha. Because if you if die in the incorrect answer. belief, if you go to are Quran, you going to go to heaven or hell? I am Yahudi. So it's a matter of joke then. I am from the tribe it's of not. Yahudi. Yeah? So don't joke about this religious discussion. No, we don't do right? religion. We are not so Christian. Don't we joke don't about the truth. Yeah? Don't joke about God. So don't let them. Don't joke His about God's divine Yahweh. guidance. Yeah, we don't believe in Matthew. So Jesus Adam. Adam. Jesus is big shit. Adam. <laughs> Jesus is big shit. Yeah? What you love? Of course it's big shit. What you love? The same people that said to you. No more why are you laughing? Because it's big shit. It's funny, of course. Because he wants to laugh. Why are you laughing? 
No, just look at the people here. And so what? If you want to laugh, they laugh. Are they laughing? The people, the people are and laughing. And so what? If you don't want to laugh, it's up to you. But we are laughing. No, it's laughing. Why, why, you laugh? why are you not asking me why they're laughing? Why, why did you laugh? I'm I know why because you laugh. Because he doesn't shit. I think I know why you laugh. Why? You why? The stupidity of the statement. <laughs> because he doesn't shit. Yeah, stupid statement. I, I have to laugh. And nobody else is Okay, why? Why is it funny? Did you ask me? Okay, did you ask me why you're laughing? I wouldn't even engage you. Oh, I wouldn't even engage you. I wouldn't even engage you. You know what, Jim? You know what, Jim? Because, because, because you're not interested, like you're being taken off like, like a child, like a kid. There's no point discussing with someone. Yeah. So this is how, this is how certain groups of people brainwash people. Young people are brainwashed like that without having any kind of critical engagement. So I just told him, asked him, would you go and trust a surgeon who has a fake medical certificate? and he makes mistakes in operation, would you trust him for your own heart surgery? He says no, because he doesn't want to get killed he by that. Die. So why, he doesn't, why, why he doesn't want to die. die. But if I told, I told him, trust his faith in but his I told him, life. would you trust in a book written by an author who's known to lie, known to distort information, known to make mistakes? He says it doesn't matter. <laughs> Subhanallah. <laughs> that is what you laugh at. What, what is more important, the life of this world or the life hereafter? being in hellfire or just dying in this world. The enormity of the punishment in hellfire compared to few things that you're going to suffer in this world is nothing. And yet they are happy. They are happy to leave the critical thinking and accepting the truth by simply believing like a blind sheep. It shows that prayer is all twisted and warped. Subhanallah. May Allah guide all of us Amen. closer and Amen. closer to the truth. Amen. Amen.